This Audi Q7 is very unique. It's done just 82,000 kilometres since it was new and it's an S line. It comes in metallic grey with black leather interior and it has a full Audi service history from new. The biggest advantage about this car is the previous owner has spent around $15,000 on updates. It's got the much newer navigation system. You can see it's got the new nav. It's got the rotisserie style. Function as well. It's got Bluetooth, memory, electric driver's seat. It's a seven seater obviously. It's got the much newer alloy wheels. It's got new lights on it and it's color coded so it actually looks like a 2012 model. The benefit to you or the potential buyer is that despite the fact that this has had $15,000 spent on it on updates, it's still the same price as another Audi Q7 from 2007 or 2008. So if you've been looking at these Q7s, I think this would have to be one of the best value Audi Q7 diesels on the market. The car is in immaculate condition. You can imagine how fussy the previous owner was if they went and updated all the lights and electrics. It's got rear parcel tray as well. The back seats fold down. It does have an electric tailgate. It's got rear entertainment. Looking down the sides, it looks very straight. All the wheels are in good condition. They're probably quite new. It's got rear entertainment. You've got headphones, remote control. So there's a remote control. We've got some headphones in the door here as well, which is great. It doesn't have a sunroof, or it doesn't have the big panoramic sunroof, which looks to us probably a good thing. So when they get to this age, they can be a little bit troublesome, those big panoramic roofs. The fact that it's had all this money spent on it, and it's updated. See, if you can see this here, it's almost like a photo. The Bluetooth is very good, I've used it. And as I said, the service history is excellent, with every service being done at Audi. The paint works very good. You can see it's got the new headlights, got daytime running lights, it's got LEDs along the top. I believe all of these additions were done at Audi. I mean, you can go onto eBay and buy newer looking lights and things, but unfortunately they just end up looking a bit cheap. And that's not the case with this car. For a three litre turbo diesel, Audi Q7, with 82,000 kilometres, with all these extras, it really is great buying. I drove it last night actually and I can honestly say it's one of the best Q7s I've driven. Uh, you may ask why, what makes it so good. It's just very tight in the gearbox and the suspension. There's no you know little knocks or squeaks or rattles or anything like that. It drives absolutely beautifully. And really the person who's get, going to get the real benefit of all these updates is the new owner. It was only recently that we were selling these Q7s with 130 and 140,000 kilometres for just over $30,000 and the fact that you can get a car like this for just under $40,000 is remarkable. It's also got the newer looking exhaust system I think, or sorry exhaust tips I should say, the system standard. I believe that that's very similar to what they have on the 4.2 litre turbo diesel. 
but generally speaking it's excellent if you've been looking at these q7s and you're a little bit disheartened you've seen a lot of them which are in bad condition they've got dings and scrapes and marks around the car it's had kids in and out of it and their parents haven't been keeping an eye on what they're doing in the back seat and it's got damage to it it's got biscuits under the seats whatever it may be then i think this car is going to be a breath of fresh air for you well thanks so much for watching our video today we are the old timer center we're located in marrickville I think this car really needs to be seen to be appreciated. I think you need to get in the car, you need to start it up, go through the navigation and the Bluetooth system and see what it's really like. Thanks again for watching.